Hi friends, it's Victor Costa. Peace, love, and muscles. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having an outstanding day and I hope today's video makes it even better for you. Um, someone asked me, Vic, what do you listen to during your workouts? Do you listen to music? Do you listen to uh, podcasts? Do you listen to YouTube videos? And guys, I love to listen to Esther Hicks. Uh, I'll put in to the, uh, to the search bar on YouTube, uh, Esther Hicks and blank, whatever I'm feeling. Uh, Esther Hicks on the topic of depression or Esther Hicks on the topic of success or Esther Hicks on the topic of abundance or scarcity or anger or whatever. And that's what I listen to. So I put myself through about, a, uh, about an hour, right, as I'm in the gym, an hour of Esther Hicks learning a day. And I've been doing that for approximately five years. And so um, it makes me really feel good. And, and it, um, it answers some of the questions and, and things um, that I have. And when you are in motion, when you are moving is when you think a lot better. I don't know if you've ever had to get out of the house or get out of the apartment and take a walk to clear your head. There's something that happens in the act of walking and moving that really um, stimulates thought and emotions. And um, I remember in one of the Carlos Castaneda books, uh, Carlos was talking about um, that uh, Carlos's uh, teacher um, told him that man carries his history in the back of his legs and that walking was good. It's good to have movement and momentum. So I think that the combination of, of learning when you are engaged in something, and, and it allows you to really absorb it. I like the idea of, of thinking uh, and, and getting stimulated um, with interesting content while I am already in action. So I don't listen to music per se. And uh, I, I try to drown out actually the music in the gym, although the music in my gym is not too bad. It's kind of a benign energy. Uh, it's a little bit uplifting. It's a little bit, um, it's, it's a combination of different uh, music. Uh, but I wanted to tell you that the music that you listen to has an impact on your body. We know, uh, and, and your mind, we know that certain music is very stimulating for thought and consciousness. Uh, a lot of classical music is, is good for that. And there's a lot of studies on that. Um, but I wanted to also talk to you about some of the negative energy and some of the negative uh, vibrations that you pick up. So you're doing this physical action and then you're picking up this negativity through certain types of songs and certain types of lyrics and certain types of words. And I remember Dr. Wayne Dyer on PBS talking about his son was listening to uh, uh, some music that had a lot of curse words in it and it had this energy and Wayne, you know, sensed that it had this energy. And he asked his son who was quite, you know, uh, a big, handsome, strong kid hey, go get that thing. Go get that thing that you're listening to. Bring it over here. So he experimented with his son, who was obviously physically stronger than him, and said, I want you to hold that to your solar plexus, and I want you to extend your arm. And when he did, um, uh, the young man's arm went down very easily when Wayne pushed down on his son's arm. And then he asked his son to get that organic banana and hold that banana to his chest uh, Wayne called it the solar plexus, and he said, extend your arm and I'm going to press down. And the kid, Wayne couldn't budge his arm. So what, in, in this it was called uh, the, uh, the power of intention, was the, was, the, was the tapes and the videos and the books that I've read from Wayne, and I've learned a lot from him. But what he was talking about was the energy that is in everything. It's in every thought, it's in every uh, music, it's in every prayer, it's in every place and space and everything. And you have to guard what you want coming into you, right? Both, you know, with the news, a lot of people talk about the news media having that effect on them, or when they hear it, they feel a certain way. And of course, you don't want to be t uninformed or, uh, or anything like that. But people mention that, that certain vibration, certain input um, makes them not feel so strong. So it would be a good idea for you to experiment with this. If you have, and, and just like that Dr. Wayne Dyer talked about, the, uh, the energy in things and try that test. It's kinesiology, right? Uh, testing yourself. You can do this with a friend. Take objects, hold them against your chest, 
uh, and have your friend press down on your arm. And of course, apply the same pressure each time so you can actually try to measure these things. And sometimes you really don't even have to do this. You feel physically weak or sick when you talk about a certain topic or when you are in the presence of certain even people, right? Or, um, or certain stimulus. So why, uh, why not have good st stimulus come to you when you're training? right, it, through your, you know, into your vibration. Have good um, uh, information coming into you. And that will also uh, disrupt the thoughts, right? A lot of people, I think I, I have mentioned this in the past, that they take the thing that's bothering them the most and then they bring that into the gym with them. And I believe that you pick up a physical imprint of that in the body and I don't want any part of that. So I try to tune that out, which by the way, music is wonderful for, right? It changes the station, not only uh, on the radio, it changes the station in the mind, so to speak, and, and you get absorbed in the joy of that. But if you find that your music, even though you're used to listening to it, is giving you a vibration that isn't good or strong or nurturing or healing, it's time to change the channel. So that's what today's video is about. Um, I don't like to listen to a lot of the music in the gym, and then I don't like to listen to, uh, you know, people talking. I don't want a conversation that someone ha is having to be the soundtrack of what I am picking up throughout my training. So uh, I, I have started to, you know, I guess within the past five years, wear the headsets. I know that we're all becoming, you know, kind of closed down. I'm happy to talk after my workout is over with people uh, and I'm happy to interrupt it for really good conversation and friends who want to connect, you know. Um, but I want to be the guardian at the gate, right? I want to be the guardian of what's coming into me, my mind, my vibration. And I want to make sure that that information is healing and nurturing and good for me. And, and that's it. So that's the, tonight's conversation. Peace, love, and muscles. Please take care of yourself. All the best and good health. Shark week. Shark week. Bye.